mothers who destroy their sons. Mama Teak, this is a video response back to you. Actually, this is my part two uh, from the video I did earlier called I Am Not My Child's Friend. Don't get mad at my title. And especially in my race of people, I want you to hear me and hear me good. Because I'm not talking about our mothers, of course. But you can really emotionally destroy your son. And a lot have already done this. And many more will do this, especially in my race of people, because of the simple fact that man is not there. Now, I'm not here to beat nobody down behind why they're not with their husband or why they're not with the baby daddy that show business. Just catch the heart of this message. What happened have happened. But I see too many women use the child against the father. Wrong thing to do. And I'm not talking about dead beats that I know. I'm talking about real men who get up and clock in every day of the week plus overtime. And the mom is so angry. Baby mom is so angry. She don't want that man to have nothing to do with that child. Our children. And then there's the mothers out here who want that man to step up and do what's right. You're going to notice after a while, if you haven't already, especially when that boy turns a certain age, he really needs his father. He's been needing him. Because like I stated not too long ago in the video, you can emotionally and feminize that boy like we see all the time. There are some mothers out here not really trying to do it on purpose, but they can't help being a mother. That's why that mother, you cannot teach that boy how to be a man. Which I'm reminded of boys in the hood. Y'all remember the movie? Those who've seen it. One thing I love about that movie is Angela Bassett. She realized she couldn't teach Trey how to be no man. And when he turned that certain age, she said, I'm taking you to live with your father. Even though they didn't agree on everything. But one thing she did agree with is that I can't raise him how to be a man. And she drove him over there and dropped him off with Furious, which was played by Lawrence Fishburne. Y'all know the movie if you've seen it. But if you look around... JT, you're going to teach our boys in the hood. Oh, yeah. Trey's little friends. Dole Boy, which was played by Ice Cube. And Monster, the rest of them homeboys. They didn't have no fathers. And look at their lifestyle. Look, Chris was in a wheelchair, shot up. Cube, Robin Stoles. Turned on to the gangster lifestyle. So his mother knew that he needed to be around that man you will and have been is still going on mo emotionally destroying these boys feminizing these boys these boys man they're like a lot of them just don't have a chance at all and it's sad and I'm not saying this to be disrespectful in no kind of way it's the reason why the Holy Spirit showed us to have balance. Because the mother, once again, as I just stated in another video, the mother is the one who nurtures the child. Love, you take care, you nurture. But that discipline, the Bible, one thing if you notice, the Bible never did say mothers raise your children. He put that responsibility on fathers. It's all in scripture. Don't get mad, ladies. I'm not talking about my opinion. I'm speaking the true word of the Holy Spirit. That's why a man's supposed to have himself submitted to the Holy Spirit first, have his house in order. That way he'll know how to lead, what to do, make the, the right decisions following the Holy Spirit, not being a double-minded man who is unstable in all his ways. 
not being a lazy man who don't want to work and provide, but always popping babies here and there. Discipline. Leadership. And if that boy, all he does is listen to his mama, well, mama said this. You know what hurts me the most when I see and been saying this for years, so many athletes and, and people that made it successful, they, they get on TV and they say, shout out to mom. But you rarely hear, shout out to my dad. It's been a few, but it's rare that you see men, young boys, get on TV and say, shout out to my daddy. That's rare, but it has happened a few times. The majority of the time is, man, my mom, if it wasn't for my mama. That's why when these boys make it, first thing they do, I got to buy my mama a house. I got to take care of my mama. My mama took care of me. But where is daddy? Where is daddy? And once that boy is emotionally destroyed, it's hard for him to come out of it. Because he see all your feminine ways. I told y'all years ago, I had to leave I had to leave this one girl alone. We had a great relationship until it came down to them kids. To that boy especially. And I had to realize she was not going to change nor did she like the way I disciplined that boy. Because he had something he never had before in his life. Me. A father figure, male. And once I started seeing his mama was going to go against me, catch this, ladies, because some of y'all be praying for a godly man. <laughs> y'all know my story. Praying for a man, but don't want to allow that man to put down that discipline. I'm talking about, I ain't talking about no lazy dude. No, I ain't talking about no little poo butt dude. I'm talking about a real man in the Holy Spirit. You will run that man off with your children. There are some men out here who is willing to accept and, and, and will look past what you have done in the past. They will accept that. And there are some men who will say, ain't no way I'm going to date a woman with kids, nor am I going to take care of somebody, another man's child. I'm not going to do that. But look at the blessing of how many people that was raised and wasn't by their biological father. But what happened? They showed love and returned to, they returned the love back to the one that raised them, even though it may not have been their real daddy. There are some men out here that will step up and they be looked down on and talked bad on because they stepped up. But who you love is who you love. And so many boys right now are feminized because of everything I'm saying in this video. That's what I that's what I hate that I don't see nowadays because ain't hardly no role models no more. Man, back in the day, even if a father wasn't around, man, here come a, here come somebody over here, man, big brother, big uncle. Some man that uh, uh, this dude took this, he would come get you. He would spend time with you, show you how it is to be a man. Here come that old truck. Boy, get on this truck with me and come help me. Come, 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 come get in this yard with me. Help cut this yard, pick up the elite. Teaching a young man how to be responsible. Handle your business as a man. Have those talks with that boy that mama can't have them conversations with. A man should never have to look, uh, a young boy should never have to look for his mother on how to be a man. But then look at how many are in the penitentiary. Oh, I already did. So you see what the chances are of that boy being able to come out right. Stop feminizing these boys. When that man is trying to be there for his children and he's working hard, don't use them kids against that man. Let that man do what he needs to do. Because that child going to start hating you later on. You'll catch that later. Shalom.